Once again, I'm George Boster Ryans. My rights were violated in Valdosta, Lowndes County, Georgia. I was told by Lowndes County Sheriff's Deputy Thomas that a criminal trespass warrant or order or warning, whatever you want to call it, was against me. And that order denied me the right to attend the Lowndes County 2013 graduation at Lowndes County High School. I am in another area of the state of Georgia, Bonavista. Welcome to Bonavista, Georgia. Now, if I come through this area, according to the precedent that the Lowndes County Sheriff and perhaps the Lowndes County Superintendent have taken upon themselves without a judge's authority or signature or stamp or notary, just told me and banned me from public property in the state of Georgia. My question to you is, as you travel South 41, will this also happen to the members of our armed forces, active duty and retired military ver veterans and other concerned citizens? This is welcome to beautiful Bonavista, Georgia. Why is it that in the state of Georgia, law enforcement, sheriff's office, a governor's, Governor Nathan Deal, Sheriff, only the governor can deal with him. What are we allowing to happen to our sons and our daughters that serves in the United States Armed Forces to protect the rights of foreigners while ours seemingly are going to hell in a hat basket. This cannot, should not, and will not disappear in the state of Georgia. I must, I must stand and do what they taught me in the military. I must fight to preserve the rights, not only for the people in Kuwait, Iran, Afghanistan, Vietnam, and other places. But I gotta stand up for my own brothers and sisters here in the United States of America, in particular here in the state of Georgia. Just keeping you informed. My rights were violated, and we want you to know, because pretty soon, the sheriff may be knocking on your door saying we have a criminal trespass warrant and we need you to get out of this property and off this property. And there won't be nothing you can do about it, especially if you don't have the money that the rich. This is Fort Benning, Georgia. Best army installation in the world. And when I look at the way our men and women have protected our country over these many years, I must say that Fort Benning is indeed an honorable army post. But did you not know that if a member of the United States Army came into Valdosta and Lowndes County, Georgia, that they could be pulled over and say it. And it'll be said to them, as it was said to me, that you are restricted and you cannot go to the Lowndes County graduation ceremony or other public meetings because there is a criminal trespass warning against you when in truth no one will have ever issued them anything in writing or verbally. Yet, as our sons and daughters 
continues to fight and serve this nation and protect us from both foreign and domestic enemies. In the state of Georgia, it is indeed a disgrace when citizens can be treated like this and deny their constitutional right of free movement. It is turning our form of government upside down. Upside down. And that is regardless of whether you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, Green Party, Black, White, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Hindu, or just plain you. We had better stand up for what is right, or we are going to lose this republic. One morning we wake up, and we will be indeed a police state, while our sons and daughters put their life on the line to protect and earn the rights for those in foreign nations. Yet we'll leave our children to a police state here in the state of Georgia. Now what say you, the good citizens of Georgia and in the United States of America? I'm George Foster Rhymes and I'm about to give you a little tour of some snippets from 4th Benning Army Post. I want you to know the truth because Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. We are saddened by the death of Kendrick Johnson for whatever reason. Even more importantly, we were upset that the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department did not allow the family to view the remains of their son, Kenneth Johnson. They had to plead with them. So I came to Fort Benning to ask a question to the citizens of the state of Georgia and the United States of America. Why should we send our sons and daughters to fight in foreign nations only to be treated as citizens in some communist third world nation? Many of you, I'm sure, are at least of average intelligence. You may ask me, George Boston Rhymes, what are you talking about? I'm talking about me, a retired military veteran that received training from the United States Armed Forces, a Vietnam era veteran. Yet, Lowndes County Deputy Thomas restricted me by a so-called criminal trespass warning that apparently does not exist. Be that as it may, President and CEO Bobby Worthy, President and CEO of the Justice League, an organization now set up in the state of Georgia that is a little different from other civil rights organizations. For too long, we have been marching. We have been protesting. We have been going to city council, county commissioners meeting, right in the Justice Department, right in the Secretary of State, about closed meetings and 
voting irregularities in Brooks County and the Georgia Attorney General only to be ignored by all of these elected officials and so President and CEO Bobby Worthy said he got tired of watching civil rights organizations play games while the masses of the people continue to catch hell and so he believed in taking our concerns to the courts. We don't need to discuss and dip, duplicate, placate, and imitate the men and women of yesteryear. He said there must be a new approach. And that is to take it to the courts and if necessary, file criminal charges against city council members, county commissioners, chief of police, sheriff departments, governors, congressmen who violate their oath of office and create and create criminal trespassing warrants that have contributed to too many of our sons and daughters being incarcerated, put on probation. At this dispensation, without any conversation from, a, from an attorney other than those that are signed to them by the state, and you know the history of that. And so I came to Fort Benning. I traveled up here for this purpose, to say to the good people of Valdosta, Lowndes County in the state of Georgia, we know about the mayor return of lynching, wherein 15 to 25 black African Americans were lynched, castrated, baby cut from Mary Turner's womb, and head crushed by the foot of a mob member. The name were turned over to the governors of the state of Georgia then, and still no one have been brought before the bar of justice. Yet, we have the Quickman 10 plus two that are waiting almost three years to go to court and to find a judge or jury so they can be tried among their peers. Something is seriously wrong in the land of the free and the home of too many graves. And so, we're not going to spew out venom like Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Neil Bork, back black female columnist Scott Parker, and others. We're just going to give you what, what, what we've always given you. And that is nothing more than the truth. Because Jesus said in St. John 8.32, And ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. So all of you who believe in Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Neil Bork, and others, let me warn you by saying to you, once and for all, when our sons and daughters come to Fort Benning to serve their nation, they don't serve as Democrats, Republicans, Independent Party or Green Party. They don't serve this nation as Christian, Muslim, Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic, or just you, they fight for the good and for the betterment of this entire nation. So we must not allow the new spirit of Lester Maddox, Bull Connors, and others to resurface and tear our nation down to the white people of America. 
we love you. It's your wickedness, it's your unfair treatment that we dislike. And we know that white America, many of them, sympathize, sympathizes with the darker colored created beings of Jah or El Shaddai or Elohim or God or some other 400 names that I have record of that our creator is called. And so to all white, right people, we understand, we understand that you too are living in fear of the wicked. We understand your dilemma. Apostle Paul, a white European, in the Epistle of Paul, said it best that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities of power and spiritual wickedness in high places. Moreover, we also know, we also know, Galatians 6 and 7, regardless of what happens to me, because I come to you in the spirit of a real Christian. I come to you in the spirit of a real Jew. I come to you in the spirit of a real Muslim. I come to you in the spirit of a real Buddhist. I come to you in the real spirit of all the righteous who want for their neighbor that which they want and have for themselves. That is indeed the teachings of Jesus. And so who am I to have my rights denied? After going to a military base and receiving training and taking on a code of conduct and carrying the M16 or the AK-47 or to be dropped off into the jungles of Southeast Asia to fight for the rights of foreigners while my own children and relatives and neighbors and fellow active duty and veterans and disabled veterans and common everyday American citizens have their rights denied and then they are stuck on a state highway and say it to them, or say to them, that you are violating a criminal trespass that was never even issued to you. Once again, as I close, I travel to Fort Benning, Georgia, because as Paul Harvey would say, I want you to know the rest of the story. Now, should I just turn my head and pretend that I'm living in the land of free, and the form of the grave, while my own rights are being denied, should I bury my head in the sand like the legend concerning the ostrich bird and say nothing that the South Georgia Regional Library Director slandered my name? Deposition of character? Should I just bury my head and pretend that she did not call me all these ugly names that are foreign to me and those who know me? Should I bury my head? Because on all governmental bodies in Lowndes County, citizens to be heard or at the end of the agenda, in the library, they have a four foot wide by eight foot long blue line. I've shown it to you and restrict the news media to that corner and only two tripods can get in. And at the Board of Education, Board of Commissioners meeting, a triangle that only one big camera with the tripod can get in. And then when you talk and address them, they are not even permitted to talk back to you and you were the one that voted them into office. What is happening? here in Georgia and across the United States of America. 
I say to all Americans, we had better stop sending our sons and our loved ones to fight these damn wars when we ought to be fighting at home for our own rights so we can live up to the real spirit of the founding fathers of our great nation. Once again, I am that I am because God called me to do what I'm doing for the good of all Americans, even if they don't know it themselves. And so I say to you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, let us stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We must understand that as our sons and daughters come to Fort Benning, Georgia, to receive training under these shields, under these symbols, that we are willing to give our sons and our daughters to go fight for the rights of farmers, then it seemed to me that the good people, both commissioned and non-commissioned officers, along with everyday citizens, should come together and let's do what is right in the state of Georgia and in the United States of America. To Kenneth, Johnson, and Jacqueline, as you struggle to receive justice and answers concerning your son, Kendrick Johnson, I commend you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, and all those who surround them. And whatever the conclusion is, we want you to know, we thank you for standing up, seeking justice in a peaceful manner under our form of government. This is Boston GBR on YouTube. Tell your friends about it. There's no hate here. It's just the spirit of the founding fathers that our nation have written on paper. And if America's not going to honor what she has written on paper, then I simply say, get rid of the Constitution and let's start all over again and stop lying. Stop lying to the people of Georgia, the people in the United States, and to others around the world. Bye-bye.